was a rumble in the jungle once I heard dad was outside again counting birds And mama plugged in the nightlight and I saw the queen of the world Welcome to the Golden Hour Birth Podcast. I am your co-host Liz and I'm your co-host Natalie and tonight we have a previous guest on, Carly. She was our episode 15, which she shared her birth story of her two daughters and their medically complex and kind of rare life that she that she manages as their mom. And now she has written a book. Thanks so much for coming on tonight, Carly. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. So, so. if you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about your book and the cute name that comes with it. I love that name. <laughs> So my book is called Darcy's Differences. It is about a girl who has hydrocephalus and she goes to school one day and she feels like she's different and she thinks that she's the only one. So she goes to school and she brings her concerns up to her teacher and her teacher and the rest of the students show her that they are all different and that nobody is the same. And at the end, Darcy realizes that her teacher is actually right, and they celebrate their differences together. And there's different characters in there that all just kind of highlight the differences. Yes. So there is multiple characters, and they each talk about their own difference. It touches on a bunch of different disabilities along with different physical features. So there is a very wide variety. I try to get some money for everybody. They're all so cute. Oh, how did you come up with all the characters? So I was very intentional that I wanted somebody for everybody. So if you look at them, like all of their hair color is different, all their skin color is different, and they all have a different either disability or physical feature. So I just kind of went with it. I knew I wanted my main character to have hydrocephalus. And I, I don't know. I just wanted them to all show how different the world truly is. Yeah. Yeah. You and your shirt says it well tonight. Let the inclusion and love bloom. Yeah, exactly. Did you write like backstories for each character? In my head, I you did. Know them? <laughs> I did in my head. So I'm like, Janet, who is one of the girls, I'm like, she's very shy. She is very smart and shy. And then Darcy is outgoing and a little sassy and like space. And her BFF is Claire. They have BFF friendship bracelets, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's those little details. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, what made you get started on this passion project? And like, when did you start it too? So I started only about six months ago, actually, and I had been thinking about it for a while. I've always enjoyed writing, but I really, it really bothered me the lack of representation that my daughter had in every aspect. And just, there's a lot of ignorance in the world. And I just, I want to help improve that and educate people. So I feel like the combination of the lack of representation and just educating people on that we are all different, no matter what we look like or act like. It just led me, I felt like I had to do something. I wanted to do something to be a part of that change. And I enjoyed writing. So I just started doodling, I guess. I actually started on a napkin in my car. Nora, my youngest, is in physical therapy and occupational therapy and speech on Wednesdays. And I'm in the car for three hours. So I just started writing on a napkin one day, thinking, okay, I'm just going to this way tomorrow. And then I moved over to a notebook, and I moved over to the computer, and then now here we are. That's amazing. It came to life, like, just so quickly. That's amazing. I love that. I felt like after I started doing it, I just really enjoyed having something for myself and to let my creativity go. You know, usually I'm coloring in a coloring book or gluing popsicle sticks on a piece of paper. So it was nice to have that for myself. And so I was staying up to like midnight or 2 a.m. And I would look at the clock and like, what did I do? <laughs> Every single night though, because I just, I enjoyed it and I got into it and I wanted 
I knew what I wanted it to come from it. I wanted to try to make some kind of difference. And so I, I feel like it really pushed me to get it out there quicker. Yeah. I can only imagine that, like, how special this is going to be for Nora one day. You know, I know she's she's three, four. She's four. She's four. So, you know, she understands it. But, like, one day she's going to look back as, like, a grown adult and be like, my mom did that for me. That's really freaking cool. <laughs> I really hope so. She was, when I got my author copies, she ran over and she was so excited just to see it. And she's, that's me, that's me. And then she goes, wait, Darcy's supposed to be different, but she looks like me. Darcy's not different. <laughs> like, well, I mean, you're right. So, <laughs> yeah, because I did yes. face, I mean, down to the red glasses and everything. The where her scars are, all of it are exactly Nora. Oh, that's so amazing. Like, she's going to look back and just thank you. Thank you for putting my representation out there, mom. That's going to be so cool. Thank you. I hope so. (laughs) Tears in my eyes. It's a really, it's a really cool book. I've been reading it to Arthur and he just asks a lot of questions, you know, about Darcy and what are those scars on her hat? He is he didn't know the word scars, you know, but like he's learning so much just from like your one book. And it's just like amazing because he lives in a small world, you know. So he doesn't right. get much exposure, but he yeah, he's just learning so much. It's really cool. <laughs> that makes me happy. I've had a few people tell me that it's really sparked conversations and helped them educate their children on just things. You know, sometimes they're hard to bring up the different topics or if you don't know how to say it, especially to children. And I love that it's opened up the opportunities to discuss those things. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, it really does open up a discussion, especially about embracing our differences, because, you know, there's certain people in the world that are like, oh, well, I'm not, I don't see color or everyone's the same. And it's, well, no, like, we are all different, but it's not a bad thing. Like, we should just embrace that and talk about it, you know? Exactly. That's like one of my lines in the book is our differences are what make us beautiful and interesting, too. And I've always been, even before Nora was born with Addie, I've always been 100 percent like, it would be super boring if we were all, you know, I go cliche, like if we all look the same, if we all act the same and dress the same, like that would be really super boring. <laughs> and so just to celebrate, like you said, that we are all different, like we're not the same, no matter how much you might want to be, we're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a Sesame Street book from like our baby registry when Wes was you know coming into the world and it's like our mouths are different our mouths are the same our mouths are used for talking and eating and but they all look different so it's like really cool and now I need to go buy Darcy's differences <laughs> yes going on Amazon now <laughs> yeah so I can hear like that you're like super excited about it and like really passionate like what other like opportunities have come from this. I know you said you were going to the library tour or something. Yeah. So actually I'm disability book week is the last week of April. And so I'm going up to my daughter's school all week. I'm going to be talking to them about disabilities and sharing my book. My old elementary school actually reached out to me and invited me down to theirs. So I'm going to be doing theirs too. There's a few different ones that I'm hoping, you know, it just came out April 1st. And so I have, I have all these ideas. <laughs> it's all turning and I'm super excited to share it because that is what I want from this book. That's exactly what I'm wanting to do. I want to educate and show that representation. Like I don't care about anything else. I just want to try to help people see themselves in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're, you know, approaching our one year anniversary and we're going to be giving away one of your books in our giveaway. So that'll be exciting. <laughs> yes, I'm super excited for you guys. It's one year. It does. It feels like forever ago that we recorded my episode. It's like, it's like, it feels for you guys. <laughs> yeah. 
It's, it it does feel so long ago. I don't remember the fall or anything before that. Ooh. Are you sure it's only one year? I know. I, I know. know. It's like it flew by, but it's been a long time too. <laughs> Carly, thank you so much again for coming on and sharing Darcy's differences and giving our listeners a little bit of just the background and your passion project. And I'm really excited to see where this takes you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope everybody gets a chance to check it out and you love it. And I love getting reviews and hearing how it helps you guys. So I appreciate it. Yeah. And Harley, you have a new Instagram writing I do. for representation. Yes, I am over at writing for representation. It's a new Instagram. So I'm still doing my footing, but I share all kinds of book stuff and inclusive and diverse information perfect well we'll go ahead and add that in our show notes and that way you guys can connect there but we will see you next episode perfect thank you so much